pretty good big and little for them. Totally BA, weird and smart. And loved by me. What Dalton did was selfish and mean, and I think it was pretty cowardly. But at the same time, he was one of the bravest people on earth. I don't think a lot of people would ever have the guts to do what he did. And he wasn't even thinking about how this would affect his loved ones. He didn't think about my mother having to see what she saw. Didn't think about his siblings having to deal with everyone all the time asking what happened. Didn't think about my dad having to tell me and my brother and my sister the tragedy that has happened. But on the bright side, whatever was hurting him so badly isn't hurting him anymore. He's trying to look out and watch him. I'm sure he regrets doing this, leaving us here, hurting us so badly, and making our lives miserable. I, lo I loved him. Mom loved him. Dad loved him. His siblings loved him. His friends loved him. And I'm sure we all still do, despite all the bad things he did. We all love him because of all the smiles and laughs and jokes, and all those things are the things he used to mask his fear and anger and hurt, but there's no more hurt and no more suffering. And on that note, Dalton's last, last words were, there are people out there who have a much harder life than I do. And all I can say to them is they are much stronger than I. And to those of you with abusive parents or school bullies, to the people out there with money problems or fear future, to the women with cheating husbands and men with boring lives, to the children who think their lives aren't worth living, I say to you, keep moving forward. For my sake, for the sake of those who fall into the hands of the woman, for the people who thought life is too scary, keep living. These were some of my brother's last words. He and let this tragedy be a wake-up sign for for the people who have attempted suicide, who have had the thoughts my big brother did. To let this be a message to you that life is worth living. Don't do as my brother did. Learn from his mistakes. Dalton will be dear to this. You can't take those words back. You can't always apologize. And even if you do, it's still like 
so that means people get their words. They're more powerful than you know. Do you always build people up or tear them down? Luckily, the last time I saw Dalton, my words were not words of hate. If I had known that the last time I had seen him, though, I would have seen so much more. I would have told him I was mad. I would have told him he was talented. He was handsome. He was great. He was loved. I would have probably avoided with too many hugs and kisses if there is such a thing. But this is the point that I want to make. Don't waste time on things that don't matter. Is Facebook really more important than telling your mom you love her? Is that video game more important than telling your siblings you're proud of them? Go play with them. Is that movie more important than calling your friend you haven't talked to in a while and seeing how they are? What could be more important than your relationships with those you love? I would have made sure I said all those things to Dalton if I made this last time. I would have made sure my boys got their last hugs and kisses from him. And I know Dalton knew I loved him. And he knows I always will. He'll always be my Dalton Madison. He'll always be their handmaid. He'll always be the jester. He'll always be our Dalton.